Hi Taurus, welcome to your love reading for March. This is Miri, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Taurus is going to take at a love connection you believe you have right now. You don't necessarily have to be with this person, but you do actually have to know each other and believe that there is some sort of love energy or connection between the two of you. So we'll see what's going on here. So welcome in Taurus. Hope everybody's doing well. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, male, female watching this. Could be past, present, or future. Please only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. If it's not fitting for you, then it's not your reading. Please don't try to make it fit. Um, keep, you know, look out for future readings. Maybe something there will resonate for you. So let's see what's going on for you, Taurus, at this time in love. We're going to take a look at how you're feeling about each other <clears throat> and the connection, the actual situation of the connection, advice for the connection, possible outcome of the connection, and we'll get some extra messages from the Lover's Oracle. We'll also pull energy from the Romance Angels, and this is a Zodiac deck. So we're going to see what we get from this deck, and if you don't resonate with what comes out here, we could get a sign, element, or planet. Totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus that I like to do at the beginning of any um, every reading. So let's see what's going on with Taurus at this time in love. And I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go and watch past readings, links below in the description box for your general and love playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for a personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that is below. I'll also pin that to the top comment. And also we have reached uh, 10,000 subs. So as a thank you in, in honor of that, I'm having a deck giveaway along with a free 20 minute reading of your choice. So if you're interested in entering the contest, it'll be open through the month of March. I'll close at April 1st and then I'll pick a winner. Follow uh, down below the description box. There's a link in the top comment. Also, it'll take you to the community tab of the channel where you'll find the post on the steps you need to do to enter. So if you're interested in that, feel free to check that out. And um, if you do, thank you and good luck to you. All right, so Taurus. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on with Taurus. What do we have for Taurus and love at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. That one sticking in my hand. <clears throat> cancer. So some of you could be dealing with a Cancer. If not, totally fine. Or maybe they have it in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, or maybe you have it in your chart or if not totally fine so let's see with this tech here first thing I'm going to do is get an opening love connection energy what is the energy like right now between you and the person that you are thinking of watching this reading for or Taurus spirit please at this time what is the current love connection energy like between Taurus and their person whoever they're I'm feeling that one of this time. Forgiving in learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So something in this connection, I'm getting a couple of messages. Something in this connection could be about forgiveness, learning and forgiving something here. Or to move forward in love here, you have to forgive and learn your lessons of the past so that you can move forward in love now. So different messages there. So we're going to see what's going on here. So now I'm going to pull one for you, Taurus, and one for your person. How you're feeling about each other and the connection. Taurus, I'll put you here, your person here. But if any time throughout the reading, please feel free to um, switch and reverse the energies anytime you see fit. All right. So one for Taurus's person. How are they feeling about Taurus at this time? All right, what do we have for Taurus? We have, you deserve love, you are lovable, and that has to do with the forgiving and learning. So I feel like for you, now like I said, if it's not you, it could be a person, but I'm calling this side you. It could be that uh, you still need to forgive and learn your lessons of the past and know that once you heal that, you can experience love and that you do deserve love and you are lovable moving forward in a new connection. To see how your person is feel, feeling. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partners you see. So your person definitely is feeling like you are the one for them. But you may have some healing 
of the past and letting go that you still need to do so that you can be in that energy of receiving this and feeling deserving of this and know that you are lovable to them. They see you as the one. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Exactly. So give it a chance. Spirit wants to you to give this a chance. All right, so let's see. Let's put some tarot on this. Tarot on this for you, Taurus. And just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Those who have reached out for personal reading. Those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift. Thank you, thank you for all your support. really does mean a lot to me. And also another way to tip or donate if you don't use PayPal. Super Chat is open during the premiere as you're watching this now. So if you feel so inclined and you would like to tip or donate that way, please feel free to send a donation through Super Chat. And if you do, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's see, Taurus. A couple more shuffles here. Let's clarify this energy for you, Taurus. So why do we have you deserve love here for Taurus? Spirit, please, thank you so much. So, yeah, the tower. So there could have been, you know, things of the past, fights, arguments, um, kind of energy, explosive energy that made you feel maybe things were said between you and a past person um, <clears throat> that made you feel unworthy of love, unlovable. And that kind of energy made you have low self-esteem kind of energy. Yeah, the fool in reverse. So it makes you feel like here that you don't want to take another risk in love. That you don't feel worthy of jumping in or giving love another chance. And it says over here, give your relationship a chance. Because the fool upright is ready to jump in, take a leap of faith, and just go for it. But here it's like whatever happened in the past, whatever arguments or words harsh words i feel were said to you i feel like you still need to heal you know forgive it heal it move on from it so that you can be worthy and deserve this love here um that's trying to come into you because your person here has the hangman so they know they're waiting for you they're trying to gain enlightenment on the situation um trying to gain you know perspectives on this situation but everything is kind of like a pause on a break pause and limbo and the emperor yeah so they want to take the lead they want to take control they want to take charge they know you're the one they want to come in and they want to uh give this a chance so they haven't they have like very conflicting energy here it's like they kind of know they need to hold back because they know you're not ready, that you still need healing to do or whatever here, but yet they want to take the lead, take control and move this forward and come forward to you as a divine counterpart. Emperor, Empress doesn't matter. You know, as the divine person that they are, they want to come into you and show you that, give you like the love you deserve and the respect and everything, but they, they're waiting they're waiting, trying to figure out how can I do this? How can this work? Because they know you're reluctant to take another chance on love, moving forward in love because of this tower stuff from the past that I feel like still haunts you. All right. So let's see what the actual situation is here for you, Taurus. Please, Taurus, love at this time, spirit. What is all this about? Five of Swords. Oh, let's get another one. And the Ten of Wands. Yeah. Wow. It could be your past person here was very... Um, you know, the Five of Swords can be somebody who's manipulative, who's um, condescending, who's disrespectful, who, you know, not a good energy. Like, they do whatever they have to do. They don't really care. And this Ten of Wands, I feel like you finally left that situation because it's very burdensome. Tens are an ending. Could also be that 
because of the energy of the past of this five of swords energy i don't feel like it's this person i don't <clears throat> because they definitely feel like you are the one Be but because of this five of swords and energy from the past you're feeling like this new connection also is very burdensome to you it's overwhelming it's like i you you, you, f you definitely feel like you don't deserve it like do i want to walk down that path again i just don't know from my past experience, I don't feel worthy. I don't feel like, you know, kind of energy. All right. So what, what is the mutual? Well, okay. So let's take that one. So we do have the Knight of Cups here. So the mutual energy is wanting to move forward in love. It's like you want to move forward in love. You want love. You want to be loved, but you're afraid of it because of the past. This is moving forward in love, coming forward with love, affection, offer, love offer, moving it forward. Both have that energy connecting you, but, and let's see here, four of one. So yeah, your person wants commitment and they may want to marry you. Um, they see you as the one, they could also see you as, your, you as their twin flame. Four of Wands here is my Twin Flame card because we do have the Divine Masculine, Feminine, doesn't matter, a Divine Counterpart here. They definitely want this happiness and joy with you as you see these two being happy and joyous. Hopefully you're not going to live in a treehouse, but hey, you know, whatever floats your boat. But um, <clears throat> yeah, they definitely want, they want that with you. Co possible commitment, marriage. Um, leveling up the connection. All right, so let's get one more. Queen of Wands, King or Queen, doesn't matter. Very fiery, fiery, passionate energy. Definitely could be deal, dealing with a fire sign. Um, yeah, very fiery, passionate, go-getter energy. Two energies here of wanting to go for it, wanting to be fiery and passionate having that drive ambition and saying, let's just do this. Let's just go for it. You know, let's just do this. And you're like stuck because of the past. I'm getting like spirit saying, just let them love you, Taurus. That's what they want to do. Wow. Okay. So let's see what, uh, let's see Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, let's see what the advice is for this connection from spirit, please. Thank you so much for Taurus and their person, whoever they're thinking of at this time. What is the advice for this connection? The Nine of Wands in reverse. And we got the Ten of Cups. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> the magician nice and one more the five of cups so right in the middle here we have the magician manifesting a brand new beginning ten of cups total joy happiness and love and fulfillment in every single way happy home and family happy commitment happy connection but we have the nine of wands in reverse so the nine of you know wands upright can talk about being the wounded warrior, um, but you still have strength to get up and fight if you have to. You've been through it. I definitely feel like you've been through it here, but it's almost like an energy of like I just give up. You know, I'm not. I'm not fighting anymore. I just give up. I think spirit just wants you to <laughs> just like not give up, but just give in to this ten of cups. This person wants to give you. The Ten of Cups, they want to give you the world. They want to give you every single cup that they have. They want to share pets. They want to share family. They want to share everything with you. They want to manifest this forward. So the advice here is to, you know, they would be so heartbroken and sad and feel at such a loss they were to lose you. So I think Spirit wants you to know the advice here is that 
to give in to the connection to manifest it forward. Because if this is a lost connection, I think there'll be just a lot of regrets in the future here. Sadness, loss, like, why did I let all these cups go? Why did I do that? Like, down the future, down the road, saying, why, why did I let this go? It may feel like the right thing to do now is to refuse them or whatever. But down the road, I think you'll regret it. Taurus, wow. So let's see what the possible outcome, possible outcome is here for you, Taurus. Possible outcome here for you, Taurus, in this connection. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. So still an energy of waiting and wondering whether or not to invest in this, assessing, analyzing kind of energy. But then we do have a fiery, passionate new beginning here, divinely guided, exciting, fiery, passionate kind of energy, brand new beginning. <clears throat> Chariot, so moving forward here, a lot of drive, ambition, balance, success, and victory. So I do see here, There'll still be a period here of thinking and wondering, should I, should I not invest again in love? <coughs> and then ultimately, think, I think a decision will be made to move forward. And there is a lot of fire and pa fiery passion and balance. This woman does look pregnant, so there could be a family here involved in the future. Or maybe you, some of you could be pregnant. I'm not really getting that energy, but... Or some of you maybe have children from previous, or maybe they do. Or this could be an energy of, you know, we could have a family in the future. Because you do see the family here with the Ten of Cups. So ultimately, I think it will be decided for some of you to finally decide to invest and move this forward. Be very successful, balanced, fiery, passionate energy. There is a lot of cups here, so the... Especially the Ten of Cups, there is love also, love and passion kind of energy. We don't really have any pentacles here, but... All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Strength, so very strong bond connection here between the two of you. Learn to tame the beast from within, having that courage, strength, and passion, and go-getter energy. Oh, and there's your Ten of Pentacles, so there you go. Long-term commitment, lifelong partner, uh, sharing everything together, assets, um, marriage, family, dynamic, legacy of a family, all the way down to the great-great-grandchildren here. So there is your long-term commitment card. You know, still feeling conflicted about this. Still feeling conflicted. But cycles will close out and new cycles will begin with the world energy. Now we have the Empress. So we have the Emperor and the Empress. So this is a divine soulmate couple. Could be twin flames here. Breath of something new with the Empress. Finally realizing your value and worth and knowing that you do indeed deserve this love that this person wants to give you. So, so we do have here, I believe this is Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Capricorn. No, this one is. This is Libra and Taurus. And then we have Leo. Strength there. We have Aries or Scorpio. We have Aquarius. We have Pisces. We have Aries. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Leo, Sag, Aries. Uh, let's see here. The Magician is Gemini and Virgo. And we have Cancer. So those are the signs I, other signs that I see. Okay, so let's get some extra messages with this deck for you, Taurus. And I do ask Taurus, especially if you're new, please feel free to check out my channel. And if you like what you see or you like my style and how I read and my energy, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. I do five readings a month. You'll get two loves, two generals, and a bonus. So if you're interested in that, uh, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell and all that good stuff. It would be greatly appreciated. <clears throat> okay, Taurus. Taurus, all right, let's see what we have here. 
We have friendship, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your life, love life will dramatically improve. So this could have start, started as a friendship or maybe you're still friends or maybe you need to work on uh, strengthening that friendship bond between the two of you, if that makes sense. All right, what else here for you, Taurus? We have this card. Imagine all unwanted thoughts exactly dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. So if you can dissolve these thoughts of feeling like you don't deserve love or whatever happened in the past, I feel like this past person really did a number on you. And if you can get past that, you have all these possibilities with this person who is your soulmate, divine counterpart. <clears throat> all right, so this deck. All right, so let's get, see if there's anything else here for Taurus. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Any other, here we go. So we have, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So you definitely could resent this past person, but, you know, you need to feel it all through. You need to heal it. You need to maybe you may need counseling, therapy, support groups, or something like that to uh, overcome this for some of you. All right, I'm feeling like there could be one more here for you, Taurus. Any other messages for Taurus spirit, please? Thank you so much. There we go. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept this current situation, it will automatically transform. So you need to trust this person and trust in this connection because they definitely want to treat you. This person will be an emperor, not this past tower person. This person is strong. They're stable. They're grounded. They're respectful. They have a lot of love and support to give you, not like this past person. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Exactly. That's how they feel about you, Taurus. If you could let them, if you could open up to love again and let them love you and heal from the past. Wow, Taurus. Okay. Best of luck to you, Taurus, whatever you decide to do here. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.